Returning is a man who's an important part of PSTOC 2020. He is strong Buffalo, a Dakota Sioux who resides in St. Paul. He's a Vietnam vet, a poet, and a writer who always says something that we must hear. His presentation is what I see it. I am strong Buffalo, Dakota poet. I see divided we be in these dark times that we are all facing. We find that our left hand and our right hand at this moment gather apart, that each does not hear the other inside this time of civil discord. Our bodies and minds are not united in spite of physical connections. What do we do now, now that the whole world is sick, now that racism has been exposed as a high crime of hatredism being duplicated in this game of hide and seek? in this war of a hacked digital game? Do we just complain? Do we just moan? Do we just cry? Do we just live in confusion? Or do we just explode in rage? Or do we alter ourselves after this year of solitude with its internal examinations that reveals we are all broken spirits. We need to heal, not just in a medical sense, for there will be no miracles, but from the land, we will find the good medicine that we need. But we have spoiled the earth with our negativity that we have sown. The abuse, the greed, the short-sightedness, the hatred, the flood of infamy burns. And the climate changes bring out the alarm that the end is near when it shouldn't be, leading us to ruin and failure. Should we run and hide? Or should we change our direction? For change is not just a commodity to consume, but is a mandatory requirement of our commonality and our mutual survival. We must change ourselves, our world, our own spaces first, then it will happen to all, for there will be no superhero, no instant gratification, but a slow and deliberate, painful process that will change the energy of humans. For human activity is what has caused the problem. Reason is our dilemma. Our power is our weakness. The solution is simple. Reconnect to the natural world and alter our directions one by one. Till we begin to see, feel, and become the spirits worthy of this wonderful world and life. It must not be the conquerors and dominators anymore. We should be humble and be in coexistence and in balance. Be the good hearts versus those that only eat the earth. Be of love and not one of the hate mongers. Live with sustainable development and energy efficient ways with compassionate hearts 
and let the mind lead the majority, rule through a collective leadership and shared existence. For goodness will not reign unless we maintain it as a way of being. So join hands, put our minds together and unite body, mind, spirit, and heart with land, air, fire, and water. And this life will unite in a real world for each step moves into evolution. Each breath becomes the voice. Every state mistake moves into destiny. Every thought becomes the change. To be good or to be divided. Where we go, we go together and alone. That I see. Thank you, Strong Buffalo, for your insight and wisdom.